Welcome to Calculus. Whatever confidence you have will be tested. But don't worry. Stevenson has tools to help you. On this episode, Stevenson will demonstrate... Quotient rule is a little bit different than product rule. As you can see, it's definitely more complicated. So what this says is the derivative of a quotient. So u is going to represent whichever quantity is in the numerator spot, and v will represent whichever quantity is in the denominator spot. So let's see what this says. So this says if you have the derivative of a quotient, you're going to take the denominator quantity, v, multiply it by the derivative of the top, u, du, dx, subtract u, which is the top, times the derivative of dv dx, which is the bottom, and divide that whole thing by the bottom squared. So the way I remember this as v du minus u dv over v squared. Or you can think of it as the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. Now, it's very important with quotient rule you set this up correctly because we have a subtraction problem here, okay? Remember, with subtraction, it's not commutative. With product rule, you do have the ability to interchange that sum and you'll still get the same result. Let's look at an example. So let's write down, start by writing down what our quotient rule is. So it says find d dx, so the derivative of g of x if g of x is this quotient. So quotient rule is, so let's actually, let me write it this way. Okay, so the quotient rule is V du minus U dv over V squared. Make sure your V's are pointy and your U's are curvy. You don't want to misread your own handwriting. So the next step is to identify what is U and what is V. In other words, what is my numerator and what is my denominator? In this case, my numerator is X squared. And I'm going to need a du. So using power rule, du is... 2x. Next, let's look at v. v is the denominator, which in this case is x minus 9. dv, this is linear, so the derivative of it is just the slope, which is 1. Now, let's put it all together. Here we go. v times du v du minus u dv all over v squared. Now, if this is a free response question, stop here. Don't continue. However, we're going to practice simplifying this because we need to have that skill uh, strong and it could come up as a multiple choice question. So I am not going to do anything to the denominator. All you're going to do is distribute out the numerator and see if anything cancels. Now I'm going to stop at this point. You may be saying, but Stevenson, you can factor an X out here. You're right. But if I factor an X out, it's not going to help me reduce anything further. So there's no purpose in actually taking an X variable out. So this would be my final answer. Let's look at another example. In my next example, why don't you try this one first? So pause the video now before I begin. Just like before, what we want to do is figure out what is our numerator quantity, we're going to call that u, and what is our denominator quantity, we call that v. Remember our quotient rule. Let's plug in our values. Again, if this is free response, stop. But since we're going to, uh, since it's not, we're going to, we're going to practice here for multiple choice questions.